Hey folks, only this morning I was walking along the lane that goes by our house where I have my prayer time at. And as I was walking by our flower garden here, I saw a few weeds popping up. So I didn't think God would mind if I would pray and pull at the same time. Uh, but ironically, I saw this right here. Now, if you can see this, this is some crabgrass. There's been a little bit of dirt washed down to the hollow of this sandstone rock, and it's grown right out of the rock. And I went to pull it up, but I couldn't do that. You know why? I love this weed. I respect this weed for what it stands for. What does it stand for? It stands for tenacity, never giving up, always hanging in there. Now, I know there's some of you who are probably saying right now, but Kirk, what about the parable of the seed and the soil? I, I, I understand that, but hang with me here just a second, okay? The Bible says that the race not always to the swiftest, but to he who endures until the end. Now, this crabgrass doesn't seem to be overly talented to me. Uh, I don't think it's very smart. Uh, not overly attractive, but it's enduring. It's hanging in there. And can I tell you that sometimes in the homeschooling journey, it's just a matter of enduring. Yes, there are some days when the heavens part and God shows his glory in the moment of the day, but oftentimes homeschooling is made up of everyday, ordinary days that we do what we do. And sometimes it's an endurance contest. It might be out enduring, outlasting our children, or it might just be standing at the end of the day, and that's okay. Ephesians 6 says, having an all to do, stand therefore. And even if you have to stand ugly sometimes, that's okay as long as you keep on standing. Because the race is not always to the swiftest, but he who endures, there's power in just hanging tough during difficult times. Whether it's your schoolwork, maybe your children's attitude, maybe it's your attitude. But if you hang in there, if you endure, God's grace always comes in at the right time. So today, let's take a lesson from this crabgrass. Let's learn to be tenacious in our daily homeschooling journey. This is Kirk Smith with ICHE's Take 5.